Good morning and welcome to more Paper Mario. Today we are going to re-explore Mount Rugged now that we have Paracarry with us. Now Paracarry will allow us to, well I'll just show it, it allows us to hover. You can stop him by pressing the down C button, you can immediately get off, which is very useful when you're trying to do very precise jumps. There will be some gaps where you need to get all the way to the edge because he has a very set distance and that set distance does not increase at any point in the game. Uh, but that being said, we're gonna switch back to Bombat uh, because if we're in combat, I pretty much want her because Paracarry can't do anything to Clefs and she can. So we're gonna want her out. Now we can't talk to Wacka. Waku, I'm Wacka. Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged, woo. Of course, yesterday was also pretty nice. Yeah, he does have different dialogue after every hit. I'm not gonna hit him here. If we really wanna get through all the dialogue in Wacka, I can come back uh, to Mount Rugged at any point and we can go through it all if anyone wants me to do that. Um, he, his item is really good, but I honestly just feel bad. <laughs> Uh, hitting whack up repeatedly to get his item. So I think I'm just gonna not. I'm also just gonna kinda try and not for a lot of these guys. Because we already killed them all at one point. They do give us coins and star points still, which is useful. And I would like to get those, but if we can skip them, we will. But we won't skip the Quake Hammer. Love this badge, favorite badge. Slightly damage all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So the Quake Hammer in this game, if you're familiar with Thousand Year Door, operates quite a bit differently. It allows you to do a Quake Hammer, uses two FP, slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. The Quake Hammer, I believe, always does two damage. I think with the Power Plus it will do three damage, but it doesn't scale otherwise. And unlike in Thousand Year Door where you know you get multiple quake hammers, in this game you'll get a more powerful more powerful version of this badge which will do 4 da four base damage and I think another one that does 8 base damage which is insane. It's also extremely costly. Uh, but that being said, very good very good badge. Uh, I could really use more bad points right now. That being said, if I have the Quake Hammer, I don't need the down pound because the nice thing about Quake Hammer is it also goes through defense. Uh, now, it's not quite as good as the down pound uh, if you're doing a single target, but for our purposes in at this point in the game, Quake Hammer will do just fine. So we'll get that and Smash Charge, I think. And that will make clearing out some of these enemy groups a lot easier. In fact, I can now miss that guy. I kind of expected him to charge at me a lot sooner than that. Uh, uh, this is a lot of the waste to use on a single opponent. Oh, the timing is going to be weird on that because it's so... It's so slow. That's going to be weird. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. Then... I'm gonna keep missing these guys. I keep expecting them to charge me a lot sooner than they do. No, not regular hammer, so we'll just go ahead and do another Quake Hammer. There we go. Yeah, now that we have Quake Hammer, we can plow through enemies really, really quickly. And the cool thing about Quake Hammer is it operates exactly like a POW block. So if you're dealing with Koopas, for example, that can get flipped over, it will also flip them over. Really cool badge. Really enjoy Quake Hammer. It's one of my favorite badges. Huh? You're talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. All right, you are talking to me. It's been a long time since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. Few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. 
I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. It's a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. Okay, we took this guy's seed. Great, all right. Can I jump on you from here? No, I can miss. I can I can miss you from there. Uh, let's just hammer him. I should show off pair carry uh, fighting at some point, but not in that fight. Honestly, now that I have Quake Hammer, a lot of these fights are very, very easy, which I like. I'm happy about that. I like easy fights. It makes my life better. Now, if we continue to the right, we will continue through Mount Rugged and actually clear it. I don't want to do that quite yet. All right, so we'll... Actually, I should have just shown off Paracarry's attack right there, but oh well. We'll hit this guy, take him out. Now, I don't actually remember what happens if you fail the Quake Hammer action command. I don't remember if it just does, like, one to all opponents, if it does two to all opponents because of the power plus, or if it does nothing. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what it does. But we'll slide on over here because there was still more that we could do now that we have the ability to go over gaps. Hammer that guy real quick. All right, been needing to show this off. We've got Paracarry. He has Shell Shot, which hits an enemy in the air by bumping into it. This does quite a bit of damage. It's a strong single target attack. Uh, it's similar in the fact that it does a lot of damage to a single target to Bombette, except this one can hit any opponent, uh, including those in the air, which is pretty cool. It's not as strong as Bombette's Bomb, of course, and it doesn't have the added side effects, but it can hit anybody, no matter where they are. If they're in the air or on the ground, doesn't matter. So, pretty cool. Uh, Skydive. I'm probably not going to get the timing right on this. Actually, the timing on that is really simple. All right, cool. So that's good to know. So Paracarry will actually be really easy for me to use. Uh, his mini game for the uh, skydive is also pretty easy to do. Oh, there is another cleft. I was going to say, if there's no clefts, then I will stop doing Quake Hammer, but there keeps being clefts, so I will keep using Quake Hammer. Okay, good to know. Uh, if you fail it, it will just do... Typically, it would do one to all opponents, but because I have the Power Plus, it does two to all opponents. Which means I don't actually need to do the action command for anything here, as long as there's not a whole bunch of Monty Moles. Uh, if there's more than one Monty Mole, then I would need to do it to clear the room. But if there's only one Monty Mole or no Monty Moles, then I don't need to do it at all. I just about, I jumped out of instinct. Uh, well, we'll Quake Hammer. Because it's the only thing that's going to be able to actually take him out. Oh, I forgot. I don't actually need to do the action command. <laughs> oh, well. We are in danger because we are at 5 HP. Actually, if I had enough for a refresh, this would be the perfect time to use it. But I don't, so I won't. Is there anything else I could do if I jump up here? I don't remember if there was anything to either side here. I don't think there was. I don't think there is. All right, well, we'll just do another quick hammer. If they drop a flower, then I'll still have enough to do another Quake Hammer. If they don't, well, I've got items. There is a refresh block uh, back where we got Hair Carry. Yeah, there wasn't anything else there. Okay. So we'll just... Actually, no, because that slide will jump us to the next area. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, no, yeah, it just jumps us up there, which there wasn't anything else for us to do up there. Okay. Okie dokie. We're just going to avoid that guy because I can't actually take him out right now. 
because I don't have enough FP. Now, if I go back here, I could hit a refresh block, which is probably not a bad plan right now. I'm pretty sure there was one back here. I think this also respawns the enemies, but we already did all the backtracking that we needed to do. There we go. So at this point, we just need to go this way. Not down to the Wacka. Yeah, that did refresh all of the enemies, but that's okay. Go ahead and save. Saving is useful. If we just go around the corner here, or along the side here, then these guys don't really see us very much. They're very easy to dodge. So we'll just go on by. That guy's a little bit more mean, but that's okay. We can just dodge him too. And we can continue on this way. So we will fly across the gap. Now we are in uncharted territory. I will go ahead and switch to Goombario here. Got a dude in the back, he's just hanging out. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute, I seen you somewhere. Ah, I see you are from my hometown. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wonder Poster. Now give, what's your name? So we can say a number of things here. Uh, we can be honest, we can call ourselves Mario. We can say Princess Peach, which uh, I don't know if we can pass that. I'm gonna say that we're Luigi though. Huh, well, Luigi, eh, par? Well, you do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Yep, if you say you're Luigi, he just lets you go. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Um, now, if we come back, he will be there and you will have to go through that cutscene again. You will have to do this repeatedly uh, every single time you pass through here until you actually fight him. So we will come back now and actually fight him. But I do think it's pretty cool that you can just call yourself Luigi. Hold up a sec there, partner. Just a darn minute, I see me. Yeah, this is all the same stuff. But I, I just came through here. I told you, I'm Luigi. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this, but yeah, okay. I'm Mario. Mario? Well, I'll be. If you're Mario, I reckon I got to bust you up. Yeah, if you say that you're Princess Peach, he'll just call you a darn liar and then attack you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't, uh, you can't exactly pass as Peach very well, um, but we do have our friend Buzzar. This is Buzzar. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's a big bird. Max HP is 40. Attack power is 3. Defense is 0. If you get caught in the clutches of his sharp claws, you'll lose 4 HP. Try and wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. This damages your party members too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Now, Buzzar can be pretty tough. However, he is susceptible to shrink style. So we'll go ahead and try. Yeah, there we go. He is shrunk. So now we can guard against all of his damage, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan. Helps if I actually get my attacks right. I think I will go ahead and switch to Paracarry here. Don't really need to, but might as well. All right, so we need to make sure we get out of his clutches. If you successfully get out of his clutches there, you don't take any damage. If you don't, however, you will take damage. Now, Shrink Stomp doesn't always work. It is more likely to work if you get the action command, but it won't always work. Ah, uh, okay. He didn't 
swing by quite as quickly as I thought he would there. I'm gonna try the Shrink Stomp one more time here. <laughs> and I'm gonna mess up my Action Command there too. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I need to hit that right as he's... <laughs> oh, barely. Yeah, there's a bit of RNG there. Uh, we'll try the Shrink Stomp again. There we go. So he'll be shrunk for a little bit. And then we'll... I keep thinking that he's going to attack sooner than he does. Alright. Uh... I don't need to refresh quite yet. I could refresh the Shrink Stomp on him, but I'm not that worried. Wow. If I can actually get my action fans going. There we go. Okay, he's gonna do this again. Okay. We are good. Yeah. He has a lot of HP, but he's actually not that strong, especially if you know about the Shrink Stomp. Um, there's not a... There's quite a number of enemies that are actually linked to Shrink Stomp, so it's a very useful badge. Surprisingly useful. He still does the one damage, but that's okay. He is almost dead. And I can use a refresh anytime I need to here. Okay, I, I... Hmm. I know what the timing I need to be doing on that is. I just keep thinking that he's going to go into his actual attack uh, a lot sooner than he does. If I get both of my... If I get the action command here, I'll take him out on this turn. There we go. Yeah, with the timing I currently have here, or with the delay I have, I need to hit the button pretty much right as he actually starts the dive. Like, he swings back, stops, and then dives in for the kick. I need to hit it as he dives in for the kick, uh, just as he starts to. But I kept getting thrown off because, because he kept stopping there. I'm like, Are, what? <laughs> but, oh well. We'll switch back to Goombario, just because Goombario is my boy. Uh, and that is Buzzar, so Buzzar will never bother us again. Which is kind of too bad, because he's a fun dude. We can go ahead and refresh right here. Get some saves going. And that is Mount Rugged. We have successfully completed it. Now we are in the desert. There is a lot to do in this desert. We'll be here for a while. Uh, we can't hit this tree yet. We will be able to eventually, but we can't do it yet. We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now we're on the, waiting the, on the guy who hiked over to Dry Dry Outpost to bring back some information. Do you know the people of Dry Dry Outpost are descendants of the makers of Dry Dry Ruins? What a cool thought, huh? People have been living here, watching over the ruins for many generations. Yeah, so we finally see Colorado. To get the, to the desert town, Dry Dry Outpost, go due east on this path. I'd be careful not to stray from the path if I were you. You may find some trouble, and you may definitely get lost. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. Yeah, the desert is big. There's a lot in here. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado, and I'm an archaeologist, you know? I travel the world. At the moment, I'm touring... I'm turning Dry Dry Desert upside down to find the Dry Dry Ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information on Dry Dry Outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're still having little success. All I need is a clue, and we'll be golden! So, we do finally meet... Colorado. We've been hearing about him for a while, and he does have some special dialogue if you talk to him with Cooper. How's goes the travels? Yeah, this is Colorado. What? Whoa, you're Professor Colorado? It's Cooper. I live next to you. Well, it's so great to see you. I never would have expected to meet up with you out here. I'm right in the middle of an expedition with Mario. I want to be an archaeologist just like you. Hello there, Cooper! It's been ages! So, if you're serious about taking up archaeology, you and I should go exploring someday. Anytime, really. 
For now, you concentrate on your adventure with Mario. You'll never attain such fame in archaeology as I have if you don't finish one task before starting another. Whoa, okay. As soon as we're done saving the princess and Mushroom Kingdom and everything, you and I'll go exploring. Yeah, so Cooper has something to look forward to now. We did also get a letter for Colorado, so we'll talk to him one more time. You're Colorado, correct? The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Yep, so we can deliver the letter to Colorado. Another letter duly delivered. Postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so, thank you ever so, old chap. This is just what I need to give me the strength to go on. It says that she's divorcing me. I know, I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. Came across it while I was immersed in the- I know he's, like, probably supposed to be British, and to be more accurate, I should probably be using a British accent as I read his lines, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was immersed in the dig around here. Cool, so we do get a star piece. I think you get a star piece for every letter you deliver, so that's pretty cool. Now, as, uh, as I mentioned before, the desert very big. There's a lot to do here. If you follow the path, it will take you straight to Dry Dry Outpost, but it's act the desert is actually a square. I believe it's a 4x4 four four grid. And every area has something that you can do in it. Um, some areas don't have much of anything, but some of them have a lot you can do. So we are going to want to explore the desert in for a bit here. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right now, I'm going to end this episode and go to the next one. So I will see you guys in our next episode as we go to Dry Dry Outpost and maybe explore the desert. I'm not sure which we're going to do first. I'll figure it out. But I'll see you guys then.